All right, now IGN has hands-on exclusive gameplay. Two hours worthy, but they I think they chopped it down to five minutes. Here's a video. All right, IGN, shout out to IGN for this gameplay. We're gonna check it out. We're gonna see what we like. The list of impressive looking Souls-like games on the horizon is long. All right, Phantom, like Blade Phantom Zero. Blade Zero. Footlock, The Siege of Dawn, and Wu Chong Fallen Feathers, all having solid showings this summer event season. But there's always been something extra special about Black Myth Wukong. Facts! It's I agree. It's gorgeous. The animations are incredibly fluid, it's steeped in rich Chinese Ooh, culture, and there's just something immensely satisfying about playing as a Monkey King, beating up all uh -oh, sorts of the the Monkey with King. a giant extendable staff. While oh yeah, and he's quick too, I like that. IGN has gone hands-on with the game, it is my own personal first time with it, and okay. after two hours of playtime with the opening chapter, I somehow walked away even more excited for its August 20th release. Okay, that's a good that's a good sign right there. Okay, cool. We're going to take everything down. We're going we're to see what we see, and then I'm going to uh, say what I think at the end. IGN Let's China go. has already done an extensive preview on what Wukong plays like on a late game build with many techniques, stances, and transformations already unlocked. Which is great because my two hours covered pretty much the very start of the game. The okay, now the bosses are kind of like. Started playing was how fluid and fast Wukong feels to control. I can I can Many see that. Those lights are built on a foundation of. Ooh, ooh, you can see how fast he is by his. Wukong feels exceptionally quick and agile. Oh no 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 no! Wait 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 wait! Actually, no block button. Okay. Wukong can twirl his staff to block projectiles, but as far as melee attacks go, everything must be dodged. Bro, look at his. To that end, see how fast he's going, bro. System where you can dodge up to three times very quickly, but after the third one, you're punished with a lengthy recovery time to try and curb people from just mindlessly mashing the dodge. Oh, so they can't spam Perfectly it, okay. Time dodges will reward you with extra focus, and once your focus bar has been filled, you get a focus point that allows you to chain a strong attack into your light combo string for a Ooh, big chunk of damage. Okay. Later on, those focus points can also be spent on different types of special moves that you unlock in the skill tree, which will- Oh yeah, oh yeah, I like this. Oh, is that a bear? Uh-oh. 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 I only really got Bro, to play around with We're fighting like Rockman and and, and, and and Bear stops like stops an enemy in their tracks and allows you to freeze frame the spell's effect wears off. Stronger enemies and especially bosses are affected by the spell much less and sometimes they were able to shrug it off entirely. Oh Even wait, what? So some can stage combat was a fun dance of actively looking for opportunities to avoid enemy attacks okay. and Okay. His attack was hard. Keeping an eye on my focus meter so that I can use a damaging heavy attack whenever I had the chance while also managing my mana and cooldown for my immobilized spell. Eventually, I got my first transformation, which turns Wukong into an absolute beast, with much stronger attacks and a hugely damaging super attack they can use Wait, out of a dodge. Wait, he has transformations? To a focus point. One of his moves in this transformation is a lightning fast dash attack that made me feel like I had basically turned into the boss that I got the transformation from. Okay. Later on, I added another tool to my repertoire, the tower stance. Okay. I swapped out my chargeable overhead strong attack for the ability to stand on my staff and avoid damage on the ground as long as my stamina held out. If I managed to stay on the staff long enough for a focus point to charge, I could spend it to leap off the staff, flip it around, and come crashing down with a powerful strike that felt incredibly cool to pull off. These oh no, this is hard. Oh no, 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 this is hard. I like this already. ...through a level up system that works a lot like Sekiro's. As you defeat enemies, you'll gain will, which builds up a bar on the top right of the screen. When the bar is full, you gain a spark, which can be used to purchase upgrades from one of your various skill trees. Once you fill the bar and bank a point, you can't lose it. You can even add that point wherever you want, not just at a shrine, which serves as Wukong's version of a bonfire-like checkpoint. However, Wait, if you die what? before Brother, you manage I'm, to I'm still bar, caught up on the gameplay. Of that experience will be lost in typical souls like fashion. Don't let that trick you into thinking that Wukong is an easy game. Though, okay, so this definitely is certainly is So not. this is definitely considered and like a souls game type of thing. Okay. Are relentless and even more so in their second phases, and you only have a scant few restorative potions to keep yourself alive. I also managed to find a secret boss room behind a waterfall that took me to a dragon boss. Oh no, this is hard. Wrecked. Oh, this is hard. Fortunately, you can teleport from shrine to shrine, so you can come back. To bro, he's the bro. He's putting road, combos on him right now. Your gear and add some more points into your skill trees. And speaking of gear, I didn't manage to find all that much, but I did find enough to at least know that there are sets of armor that. Oh my, bro, he is putting combos on him. Of gear from that set. The levels themselves were fairly linear, with a couple of branching points that led to some sort of treasure or item pickup. The real star of the show, though, were the boss battles. Of Even course. In just two hours, I fought against a wide variety of bosses, from a speedy wolf boss that I snagged my first transformation from, to a mule-kicking frog in human clothes. It's a an frog boss? Phase battle against a snake man. All in all, I greatly enjoyed my time with okay. Black Myth Wukong. 
Okay. Even in just two hours of playtime, I okay. feel like I got to experience a lot of combat progression and am excited to see how things will continue to evolve as okay. the game goes on. Okay. We won't have to wait much longer to see how the full game shakes out as Black Myth Wukong releases on PC and PlayStation 5 on okay. August 20th. Brother, let me tell you something. First of all, first of all, first of all, shout out to IGN for the gameplay. Um, now listen, I'm really, really, really impressed on like the dodges. Now he said that, uh, like, I don't know if there, listen, I don't know if there's not going to be a block button for the rest of the game, but he said that whenever he was playing that there wasn't really a block button like that and that you had to dodge. Now, bro, his dodging, bro, he's diving so, bro, he's dodging so quick that his past self is still there. That's, bro, 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 brother, that's, bro, that's incredible, bro. He dodged so quick that his past self is still there. That you can see, like, a, you can see, like, the, like, the, like, his past self, like, 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 bro, like, going away, bro, I can't even put it into words. I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm really impressed with that, bro. Um, now, these bosses, now, these bosses, so, there's a bear boss, there's a snake boss, like the guy said, there's a frog boss, um, what other boss? There's like a there's like this rock boss, I guess, right here. Um, now uh, I can already tell there's gonna be like some bosses like as animals, which obviously we've seen. Um, there's some bosses that are just like I guess rocks or, or, or something like that. I can't really find like a theme whenever it came to the bosses, but um, that's definitely new because if you look at a lot of these like Souls games, whatever, um, bro, like these Souls bosses, bro, they'll have like they'll have like a PlayStation Five build. They'll have like a a, a light bulb head. With the Joker teeth, they'll have like a, um, they'll have like centipede arms and, and and spider legs. Like it'll be like, bro, if you ever look at like a like a just like a Souls boss, like a Souls games boss, bro, like they're like the proportions is it's, it's like they got BBLs just in their arms, and then they got like centipede legs, and then they got like the perfect denter like type of teeth. <laughs> like bro, they got like a uh, like a lion's head. It, it's just weird. Like it's just very weird. It looks like a scary just. You know weird boss but uh in this game obviously bro we've seen like a bear that's just like we've seen like a gigantic bear the only um boss that that you know that seemed out of place uh was that def was definitely this one i don't even know like this is like like a just i i don't even like wh what do you even call this like we've seen like the uh like the frog when we've seen the uh the bear one we've seen uh mr rock man um but i have never like i don't even know what this is i don't know like bro this looks like like Joe Rogan in like in like a, in like a baby's body, but like obviously like it's not a baby side. Like this is this like I'm I'm at a loss for words. Like I can't even like give I can't even like talk about this. I feel like I'll see this like I feel like if I just open my door, this will disappear. Like this is crazy. So comment down below, man. What do you guys think about it, brother? I'm excited for the gameplay, bro. Um, now I don't really know if the, if this you know game really has like a story because. I mean, it, it, listen, it really doesn't because, it, it, you know, if we're being honest with you, Souls games don't really have, um, well, no, most Souls games don't really have, like, a captivating story, you know, to the point to where, you know, you'll feel every emotion and, you know, this person died and you got to get revenge for this, like... They don't really like they don't, they don't do that. You know, a Souls game is okay, cool. You come through, it's like an intro to like a boss, and then you die to that boss about a hundred times. You beat him, and you feel like you won the Super Bowl, and then you have to uh, finally realize that you have to beat another boss too. So at the end of the day, that's like the perfect description of a Souls game to me. So uh, I'm not really looking for like a story whenever it comes to this game. The gameplay is already just it's already enough. So comment down below, man. What do you guys think about the gameplay we've seen uh, so far? um it bro it looks techy bro that whole um what, what was that that whole point system to where he could do like a special move that's hard bro he can freeze some bosses in midair and do his like it, that's crazy and then he can hop on his own stick to avoid like the attacks and stuff and then once you hop on your stick and like your little meter fills up you can do your special move while you're on top of your stick that's incredible comment down below man what do you guys think about black myth wukong hands-on experience from IGN again shout out to IGN for the gameplay so you guys are gonna figure some out and